My name is Christopher uh, Lee May, retired Master Gunnery Sergeant, United States Marine Corps. Did 24 years. I uh, did six years in the infantry and another 18 in a reconnaissance community. I loved every minute of it for 18 years. It was uh, always something different, um, a lot of deployments. You know, we had diving operations, free fall operations, breaching operations. There was always something um, that we had to maintain capabilities of. From 2003, probably till about 2008, um, I was nonstop and then we shifted into Afghanistan and I was in Afghanistan from 2009, 10 and 11. Um, I was there um, all three years. When I went to retire is really when everything started to, um, I didn't really identified the problems I was having. Before he went for his treatments, um, he was napping a lot. Um, he was um, just feeling tired a lot. I had, you know, 11, TBIs, traumatic brain injury exposures over my combat deployment. So I went um, right from there into a four month outpatient TBI clinic. And then from there, um, I had uh, my C6 um, disc exploded and it had been bulging for probably 10 years and I just kept living with it. I've competed in the tactical games for probably about the last year. And I started noticing that my thought process was getting weaker. My ability to multitask, my ability to stay on task um, started to degrade. One thing that I've learned over the years is when I start to struggle, I have to reach out immediately to find support. And that's what really what led me to Park Performance Institute. I had no idea that my eyesight uh, was affecting you know other aspects of what I was trying to do um, but for me it was a initially just to get um, my mental capacity back to where I knew I wanted it to be um, but I came out of that and some of the stuff we did absolutely helped in that aspect but the real benefit I saw was being able to gain some insight into the issues I was having that helped me um, you know, do something that I love to do. We lost uh, Caleb in 2013. Um, at that point, I was a company operations chief um, and I was running uh, parachute operations to get our capabilities up. His uh, main didn't deploy and when he pulled and fired his reserve, it went through the lines um, and he had a total malfunction. Brother Recon really became a coping mechanism on how to deal with um, that tragedy. Um, you know, because at, at that point, um, you know, six combat deployments and all of that, you know, sorrow and anger and frustration, like everything came back all at once. Chris doesn't talk a lot, very much about his mental health. Um, and he told me he was going to do this and I was like, why? What, what's going on? And he's like, it's something I have to do and I'm going to do it um, because I don't feel great and I want to feel great. And as a wife, I was like, okay. I wanted to do something different and talking to his family and his mother, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what we wanted to do. And it ended up becoming uh, the Brother Recon sculpture um, that really it represents all of our fallen reconnaissance Marine and Sark Corpsmen um, that have given their lives for our country. It took us 10 years. So in April of 2023, last year, we actually unveiled the sculpture um, at Reconnaissance Training Center at Camp Hill in California. I'm the vice president of the Marine Reconnaissance Foundation um, and I have been on the board for almost 10 years with them as well. We really focus on, um, you know, trying to provide assistance to our reconnaissance Marines, our SART corner and their families, you know, finding ways to provide um, sources to guys that are struggling. Um, and it could be many things. I became really passionate about what Parker was doing for our veterans. When you can actually come out and show that it is improving performance. It is improving uh, your ability to process and think rapidly. Non-invasive, super simple. All you have to do is go in and do what they ask you to do and stay on the program, um, that it works. After all the years of my dad going through surgeries and um, hearing him kind of come out of his shell and share how he felt about 
his body and his brain and really how he was moving forward and not backward anymore. Um, I couldn't be more happier for my dad.